Welcome to Black and White Cairo Ministries, where Christ is meeting you in a personal view. I'm Father John Roberts, and this is Palm Sunday. I'm going to open up with the collect for the Liturgy of the Palms, and then I'm going to proceed into um, the actual Matthean Gospel account for the scene. The Lord be with you. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God, of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts, whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Going through. Today the reading is going to be from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Now when Jesus and his disciples had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. And tie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs this, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them, and brought the donkey and the colt, and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he had entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Here ends the reading. So the scene is a common scene. Most of us um, who aspire to the time known as Holy Week would expect nothing less than pageantry on Palm Sunday, a time when the hosannas ring and the choirs are singing all glory, laud, and honor in procession. People are holding palms and branches to recommemorate the time in which Jesus entered in Jerusalem. Remember, just last week, Jesus healed Lazarus. He was dead and he raised him from the dead four days later. Prior to that, he healed the blind man at Bethage. And before that, he actually touched and talked to the woman at the well. All of these actions have led up to his grand entrance. So why was the city of Jerusalem in such turmoil on this day? It wasn't a day that they called Palm Sunday when Jesus was coming through. It was actually a day of commemorating Herod as he was coming through the opposite end of Jerusalem. And with that, imagine the pageantry that Herod would have expected from all of his um, underlings. They would have had these um, lifted him up on a carriage. They would have had fans that they would have fanned him as he came through. There would have been trumpets. There would have been people that were in the crowd uh, hailing him. Probably they were paid by Herod himself to do so. And yet on the opposite end, here comes Jesus, not on a carriage, but on a donkey, not with elaborate fans, but with people cutting palm branches from the trees and using them as fans as a way to signify, here is our leader, here is our king. So Jerusalem was in a lot of turmoil for this very reason. A lot of people were there in support of an uprising. And with that, we have Herod, who's always chastising Rome and um, is pretty much a splinter in their foot. And then you've got Jesus, who is coming up. What threat is he to Rome? And later on in the liturgy today, we're going to read the Passion Gospel, and we're going to hear the governor, Pilate himself, who basically says, who is this man? And he hears the mob say, crucify him, crucify him. And he washes his hands because he says, this man has done nothing towards Rome. Palm Sunday is about the pronouncement of the king. The palms are the emblems, the symbols that recognize his sovereignty. And he comes in with great humility on a colt, on a donkey, on an ass. Jesus is not making a big ceremony, but his actions have spoken louder than his words. 
for the people know his reputation and they know that he has the power to overcome illness and social discrimination and even death. And this is what the grassroots is responding to. All of nature sings out for the king and obviously what better sign of nature than a branch cut from a palm. Today we are to welcome the King of Kings into our holy spaces and to once more proclaim all glory, all laud and honor go to thee, Redeemer King. Amen. Today I've got a few questions and that is this. The first one is the same as what was asked in the gospel. Who is this? You know that there's turmoil in Jerusalem. You know Herod's on one side. Here's this man Jesus coming through. Who is Jesus? Just answer that question. Who is he? The second one is this. Do you see times today when there is that struggle between um, Jesus as um, the power of the culture or some other person? either fighting for election or who is elected? Do you see a struggle that goes on between Christ and the world? I look forward to hearing how you have seen Palm Sunday in your past. Tell me on this particular uh, episode, what are things that you really look forward to on Palm Sunday? How have they touched your life? So I really look forward to hearing all of these here at Black and White Cairo Ministries, where Christ is meeting you in a personal view. And as always, go forth in the name of Christ.